And as part of measures aimed at improving public knowledge on the dangers of high consumption of salt, Corporate Accountability and Public Participation Africa, CAPA, has called on the media to be at the front burner of the reduction campaign. And this is in the long run, will help in tackling non-communicable diseases and entities in Nigeria. Executive Director of CAPA, Akimbadi Uluafemi, made this call during a journalism training on salt reduction, which held in Lagos. Plus TV correspondent, Lovi Koko Yedokung, who was at the training, brings us details in this report. Seated as selected journalists from media houses in Lagos State, they are here to learn, unlearn, and relearn to be more knowledgeable about the dangers posed by excessive intake of salts. In his presentation, the executive director of CAPA, Akimbode Uluafemi, says this trend is a leading cause of hypertension, accounting for 12% of deaths in Nigeria. The problem is no other than the fact that non-communicable diseases are on the rise in Nigeria. Sadly, if you do visit the digital media, social media, occasionally like myself, you recently observe a trend of crowdfunding for people with ailments related to NCDs. And so these lifelong diseases are staring us in the face and people now do crowdfunding. Um, a lot of them do end up in Fatalities. Delivering a lecture titled Salt Consumption in Nigeria and the Need for Policy Intervention, a healthcare consultant, Dr. Jerome Mafeni, highlighted the alarming statistics that Nigerians are consuming twice the recommended salt intake by the World Health Organization, WHO. He attributed this trend to dietary habits cultural preferences, and the prevalence of processed and packaged foods. When we go to the market, we see salted, unsalted. We go and buy the salted because it tastes better. Salted cheese, Indomies, all the noodles. There are so many brands, right? Pringles, all those potato flakes. We love them. Your pizzas. Even breads, your bread all has salt. Because all your canned foods, whether it's canned whatever, uh, don't have plenty of salt. Presenting findings of a survey on salt consumption in Nigeria, Assistant Project Manager Kapa Vanessa Alpha called for more education of this subject in schools' curriculums. Uh, medical experts have gone ahead to say that high salt intake is linked to kidney malfunction kidney failure, is linked to heart disease, is linked to some kind of dementia, it has been linked to osteoporosis, that's osteoarthritis, and a whole lot of sicknesses and diseases that you may not have heard about. In Nigeria today, there's hardly a household you come across without one person or two living with hypertension. The training was not one-sided. Journalists had the opportunity to ask questions for more clarifications on some issues. And the advocacy going on, how far has it been able to impress it or put pressures on the policymakers to make it, to make the regulation being enforced? I'm trying to wonder, because I know when I press with the that lack of salt causes a going down. Uh, so, how do you know that you reduced enough salt? But when you go to the hospital, they tell you if it is possible, eliminate salt, salt completely from your food. So I'm kind of confused. Which one should we now go? Earlier, Oluwafemi reiterated Kapa's commitment to advocating relevant legislation to safeguard Nigerians' health. Love Ikuku Oyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.